Jay's at Clear Creek Farm. How are we doing tonight? You know them days when you're out trimming feet and you just get where you can't hold their feet up anymore? I've been always thinking of ways that I could take and hold their feet up. Tonight, I'm going to show you this way that I decided to try to see if it works, and it does. So come along with me as I show you this new way to trim some hoofs. So I've always wanted to uh, find a way to help me hold up my goat's hoofs as I um, trim them. I came from a dairy cow background um, back in the day, and we always used to use ratchets and stuff to pull their legs up so that way we could work with them more. Um, but they have like little cuffs things, and cows, they, they just had a stanchion where it would make it easier. So I was always thinking, what could I do to make something that would actually do that? So I decided to get a pulley system with a um, with a dog collar. I drilled some extra holes in it and so I can wrap it around them and then hook it into the dog leash hook. Um, I just made this today, but I've been thinking about it for a long time and it works great. So I'm going to show you how you could build this yourself and I'm going to show you how it works. So I got two pieces of chain. They're, oh, I think they're four foot long. Um, <laughs> thrown over top of this rafter up in my barn. Come down with a carabiner on there so I can hook in my pulley. Um, this pulley is just a string rope pulley. It has a quick release on this side, so you don't have to do anything mm -hmm. with it. It slides up and down. You got to release it to get it to go slide down. Um, that's what I'm using. Um, and it's seeming like it works pretty decent on um, holding them up. The back legs ain't the greatest, but... If you got a doe, it don't kick too much. It's actually really good. I'll show you the front legs first and show you how I did it. And we'll go from there. So I did end up bending my hook because this hook is actually bigger. I bent it so I can actually slide this over top of my carabiner. I shortened up the rope because I don't need that much rope. I needed this about, you know, my head height where I can actually loosen it up and tighten it up from uh, sitting here on the stand. So I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna just hook this into this carabiner. It's not one of the heavy duty ones. This is only 150 pounds. It shouldn't need more than 150 pounds to hold a goat up. Um, give myself a little bit more slack. Now I'm going to take this dog collar that I actually added extra holes in it so that way I had more, um, um, more adjustment. Um, this one I think was another foot or so longer, but I wanted something wide. If I could have went wider yet, I would have, but this is as wide as I could get and I just wrap it around here. Slide it in, make sure it's good and tight. Then I can bring my doe's leg up. Get that latched in there so it just hooks in there. And tighten it up. And that actually holds her leg up so I'm not holding it, fighting with it. Then I can go in here and trim my feet. I can use a snippers or a grinder or something like that. Um, I actually have a video coming out 
next week um, with a review of a new product, a newly re-released re product. Um, that's what I've been doing all day. So if I look like I'm all sweaty, that is the reason why I've been out here filming and using this product before I do my review on it. So, I mean, it makes it simple and easy to trim their front feet. The back feet are a little bit harder. I'll show you how I did them on the back feet. So you can actually pick them up if they got into a situation where they're fighting you or something. You can actually just pick it up and it unhooks pretty easily. Let's go around to the other side and I'll show you me doing the other side as well. As y'all know, that had goats more than a day or so, trimming the opposite side is always the hardest because you're on your opposite side that you're, you know, you're not, if you're right-handed, you're on the left-hand side basically, and you're trying to snip back here. And if you try to sit on the front side, you can't do it. So now I can sit on the back side and do it. Fight uh, a little bit here, but see, I can just come up here, hook that in, no problem. Tighten that up. She's holding, it's holding her up. I don't have to hold her and puts me right in the right spot where I can actually look at the hoof. I don't have to see if I'm turning it up or nothing like that. You can get a good flat spot to trim their hoofs. These older does, I just usually try to knock off the rough stuff and get them smoothed up but see how quick and easy that was you're not fighting with the hoof trying to hold it up and trim it at the same time but you're not fighting with holding them up to trim them and everything at the same time so i mean this is working great now I'll move it back to the back side. I actually bought three or four of these, so I could put one on the back side, but I've found out it's just as easy to move this one back there. So now we're gonna move to the back side and I'm gonna show you that one. Simple, easy, comes undone, and we're ready to go to the next foot. Now I'm ready for my back feet. I'm gonna just uncarabine it, grab it, move it to my other one here. You probably could use the same one and slide it back and forth, but I figured I'd just buy two so that way I can make sure that I don't have to worry about nothing sliding or anything like that. So now we're gonna bring it around and we're gonna put this on the back foot and we're gonna go from there. See, she's already kind of fighting me anyway. So, hopefully she don't give me too much of a trouble. But, sometimes the back feet are trouble anyway. So, it's not like you're going to get any extra strain on the animal. You're just actually helping yourself hold it up. You're still got to hold it, but holding it up you don't have to do. Loosen it up. Bring that in here, hook that up right there. Tighten it up. Wish she was a little bit farther back on her back legs here. I don't know what she's doing, but it still gives me some a little bit of extra help here, holding her foot up while I come in here. Oops, got her a little deep there. Her feet were really easily, but I got her foot up here now. She's actually unhooked, but we'll get her to put down. Let's 
switch that over to the other foot. Sometimes and stuff, I mean, if you haven't trimmed a lot of feet, you probably might not know, but when you're trimming feet, sometimes you nick them, so you don't mean to, but you're trying to get them done quick, and it just happens. And limp around for a couple days, you're good to go. But see, her hoof's being hold, held up by that strap. Her actually feet wasn't that bad in general, but they, when I trim them, I trim a whole pen, and that's what I do, so she's now she's good to go. But I use that strap to help me hold me up because... After trimming a bunch of them today, you know, it gets to you. So a simple, easy way to help you while you're trimming your goat's hoofs. It don't cost that much. I think I probably got $20 into this, but it saved my hands, saved me holding them up all day. And like I said, I think I've done 10 to 15 animals today. Um, so I've been out here quite a while. I've been taking breaks because it's super hot here in Michigan today. Um, but a collar, a pulley, a couple chains to hang from the ceiling, and it helps you out a lot. I'm not using this to take all the work off of me, but I'm using that to assist me. But you guys seen how it works i'll try to leave some links to the products that i use below because i did order all this stuff off of amazon um i'll try to uh, leave a link to below to them um and like i said earlier i do have a video coming out at the beginning of next week with a new product to me and it's newly re-released re um and I think you guys will really like the product um, and it will help you while you're trimming hoofs, um, fitting your goats up for shows and stuff like that. So come back, join us next week and stuff as I show you guys that video. If you haven't hit the uh, subscribe button, please go over there, hit the subscribe button. Ring that little notification bell so you know when that video is released. Um, thank you guys for coming along with me and see you on the next video.